Hello everybody, this is Handy863 here bringing you another video today and I'm here with, I guess, a tutorial video of how to download me characters from RKG files, or well, that is ghost data files, uh, if you don't know what RKG files are, uh, to get them on your me channel. Now I've been looking to do this for around about a couple of days now. Uh, I've been really eager to try and get a me that I wanted. Haven't actually got the me that I wanted yet because I don't have that me character as an RKG file just yet. But I have figured out how to do it. Uh, I couldn't find a way out how to do it, nor could anybody else sort of help me with it. So I had to kind of look into it myself. And it involves editing the codes of the different files. You can actually save me character files as a file on your SD card and it, um, import them to the Wii and then the that code but that code for the me character is in, included in the RKG file for the ghost data file uh, you just have to find it and then ed alter it into the codes that you need so um, I did find this it took me some time and it took me some time to get cor get it correct as well but I managed to pull it off and I managed to do it, so I'm going to have a tutorial here. Uh, first things first, however, um, I'm going to involve the Wii to show you that um, how to clone me's as such, I guess. Um, me cloning uh, on the Wii, which I use mainly to do my time trials to clone the uh, ghost data me character and use their ghost to show it almost as if it was them and that they're playing from a live replay perspective. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. So um, when you use the me cloner, um, the first me usually, which is my sister's me on this console, this um, the bottom left, right, right corner uh, license is my sister's me. Um, that would be replaced. So let's go ahead and go on to here and just go quickly to the time trials. Now when you get to time trials, um, you just go onto the ghost, uh, and I've downloaded Bradley's ghost for Mushroom Gorge, and that should clone his me. So let's go. Okay, so here's Bradley's me. Um, it's as a Nintendo ghost because this is a ghost file saved on the SD card from the rankings, and pretty much it just sort of loads up via revolution. Uh, so all I have to do is press X and Y at the same time. And then once I've done that, just go back all the way through. And then we can exit my license. And as you can see, my sister's me character has disappeared. Uh, so I can choose another me character for it. And when that loads up, you have Bradley. So there we go. Good old Bradley. And now that is that license has Bradley's me character. Now usually when you leave, um, the licenses, the character would also get deleted. Um, so once you open up Mario Kart Wii again like normal, uh, unless you still have the... Uh, no. Yeah, once, once you um, load up Mario Kart Wii just like normal, uh, the ghost will be blank like that again and it will show me through the process. If I just keep pressing A, I'll, be en I'll end up choosing my sister again. Um, but I'm going to exit this now. And I'm going to go to the computer, and I'm going to show the process of downloading Bradley's me character. Okay, so here I am at the computer. Uh, as you can see here, I've loaded up Nin Rankings, where all of Bradley's ghost datas are saved. Uh, and his Mushroom Gorge one is right at the top, so if we open that up in the viewer. And let's say download the ghost. Now, I already did have this. But um, I'm going to just place it in here again. Oh, it already exists. Yes, we'll replace it then. Okay, so uh, that's the first step basically. Um, now I have this hex viewer program open. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's just a simple one that I just found on the internet that I used to edit. Um, basically, you just open this up in here and you get basically the raw code that makes up the ghost data and the me that we want starts from here and well it usually in these blank spaces around here would have the creator's name but 
Bradley doesn't have a creator, he just has his me, so we are interested in this bit in the middle here. And this is the name of the me, um, Bradley's name here, then this is the actual composition of the me. And then this, I believe, is the colours and the height and stuff, and then the creator's name would be around here. But Bradley doesn't have a creator for that, so we're going to leave it. And I had to work this out all by myself, by the way. Uh, just saying, because uh, there are no tutorials or anything, and I'm not a computer, a talented computer coder. So, okay, anywho though, we need to get ourselves another file. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy Bradley's name. And we've got a me editor. Uh, this is just a regular online me character editor that you can pretty much just get from anywhere, I suppose. Uh, you like, I, I, I know there was like a... Uh, me share or something that used to exist. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Nintendo might shut this one down. I'll link it in the description, but if you just want to find it, just say online me editor and it should come up with this. Uh, and it's pretty clever as well. You can have, you have different me's at the bottom here that you can load like uh, this one and this one. And then you have the default boy and default girl as well. You can also randomize it so you just have different random me's at the same time. But uh, we'll just stay with the default for now. So uh, we're going to paste Bradley's name in there. We're going to keep that the same. And we're going to keep the me character the same as well. So now we're going to save it. And let's save it to the desktop. And I believe the file won't be able to read it if we have special symbols and stuff in there. So I'm going to have to just save it as Bradley for now. Save. Okie dokie. And then we open up this other viewer. And we'll have this one by the side of it too. We'll open up the other viewer. Viewer windows are actually slightly smaller. Probably because of the dimensions of the screen that I've changed to record this. Either or. Uh... We're going to open up Bradley, and this is the me character file. Now you can already see, there is the start of the name. And we are looking to start off around about here. Uh, now, wherever that is, is here. And basically we're going to have to change all of this code to get the composition of Bradley. So uh, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, just do it, and uh, I'll speed up the process, because I know it probably will take a while, but uh, not too long. So, uh, yeah, let me just mute things here, and I shall get going and doing that. <laughs> So uh, now I have that uh, sorted out, um, and that should be Bradley's me, if I've copied it correctly in here, so uh, it should be. So now I'm going to save, it's going to export, then I'm going to go to the me viewer, and if I've done something wrong, it won't load up as Bradley, but fingers crossed it will. Ooh, is this Bradley? Let's see. Oh dear lord, what is this? Yes, I've done something wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless Bradley's me actually looks like that on the ghost, which I know for a fact it doesn't. We've done something wrong. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Let's go back and check this out. Otherwise, we've done a pretty good job of keeping it together overall. What did I do wrong? 40-40 Something's wrong here uh, 
do there it is I got that wrong ah <laughs> that's the that's the annoying thing about that that's um meant to be o eight and I put o b there we go okay let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> well, there's the Bradley we know. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's that's our Bradley. So uh, we're gonna just click done. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my SD card. Where did I put my SD card? It's in the wheel ready? Nope. <laughs> Oh no, I've lost my SD card. It's right here. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the SD card in. And uh, we need a folder on the uh, computer called Mies. Uh, also, just to show off, I put in the apps, um, the Me Extractor and the Me Installer uh, for Homebrew. And the Me Installer is what we're going to be using to put this Me character on our devices. Anywho though, so we're gonna go to Mies. I have some other Mies there because I don't want them downloading everything. And we're gonna save Bradley. And it's okay to use him as this mean as this me name now. It's because the file will read him. And we're gonna save him in here. And he should be there. Alright, so now we're gonna move back over to the Wii and I'm gonna show everybody what to do from there. Okay, so now we are back over at the Wii. I'm just going to turn this slightly. I'm going to put my SD card in the console. And now we're going to go and load up good old homebrew. Now what will happen now is that me character file that we've saved on here, uh, the me installer should work it, should recognize it and would simply download it. So all of those files that I showed in the apps folder show up here. Um, if you use the me extractor, that would pretty much extract all of the me files that you have on your Wii already to the SD card. So you can, and they're pretty much the same files that we use to edit uh, on that online editor. Uh, but we're using the me installer, and what I'm going to do is just press load, and a load of text will show up. It's recognized the me character file, and it says it's okay, so we just give it a bit of time to load up and it should work. Okay, so it'll freeze for a bit. Then the Wii will restart itself to the menu. So we're gonna have to uh, reconnect the Wii remote. I can disconnect the classic controller for this because it doesn't work on the Mi channel anyway. So we're gonna go to the Mi channel. It'll take a little bit of time to load up if the download has successfully worked. Uh, and hopefully it has. I think it should have done. I don't think it wouldn't have. So looking at this, we do have an extra me. And there he is. Bradley is on our Mar on our Mario Kart Wii? Or on our... Um... What is this called again? <laughs> on our me channel from our Mario Kart Wii files. And I almost completely messed them up as well. But uh, yeah, so that file... That me should be pretty much exactly the same. If you don't change the code in the um, that it gives you at the bottom, the I, the me's ID, then when we actually start the game up normally, and you can see me starting this up normally, because uh, I don't have any codes and stuff. Bradley's me character should still be in the place of my sister's at the bottom screen. If not, then bad luck. But there we go. So Bradley is now a me character that is now running on my me channel. And with that, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, once again, if you find a, another way to do this that might be easier, where you can just run it all on the Wii and stuff, please do let me know because it will be a lot easier if I have to do this for thousands of different me characters. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you find it helpful, please do let me know because uh, I don't usually do stuff like this This is my first time actually I had to work this all out myself because no one else was helping me uh, And it was quite hard to find the information. That's why I also put it out here uh, And also uh, as a tutorial when I asked Bradley he wanted to, do, to know how I did this as well So 
this is how I did it. Uh, otherwise, though, thank you for watching yet again, and I shall hopefully see you again later. Goodbye.